So we already have established that the, the Vortex stove works very well without any additional secondary air. I mean, in effect, it probably is getting secondary air because the main air supply is coming through these slots which go all the way through the stove. So the air sort of preheated flows up here and goes through the mass of wood and up through um, the Vortex slot. Now, there's obviously enough air that is being heated inside of the chamber to come up through the slot and supply the vortex with any additional air it needs. That's why it being burned so cleanly. However, I've decided to have a go, and this is more just for effect as much as anything. We, I mean, the vortex stove is almost famous because it looks so amazing when it's running. So here's what I've done. I've added some little uh, um, holes here. I think they're five millimeter holes. So I don't know, or we just have to wait and see if it works or not. I mean, I'm hoping to get some impression of some, uh, a bit of a display, visibly be able to see the air mixing. But uh, we'll have to wait and see till it's up and running, if it works or not. So I've changed the format around with this one, and I've made a new shape, a new style top box. The top box is actually six inches high, and the actual afterburner I've made is six inch by three inch square. I've used, I've salvaged most of the old pieces of Michelite, some of them got a few cracks in, but while I'm experimenting, there's no point in using my new sheet. Anyhow, we've had a couple of fires, and I'm just about to light another one, so you can see how it works. I've taken the rocket stove outside, set it up with a temporary chimney. I've changed the format slightly on this one. So the flames are now exiting out of the afterburner and turning left and right and running down the sides of the afterburner. As I said before, the top box is now six inches deep, so I was hoping this will give a bit more of an even temperature um, over the cooking plate. Now, it seems to be working okay. As you can see, there's no glass over the firebox at all. Now, it's running fine. My previous model I had, it did tend to over fuel ever so slightly without the front glass but this one seems to be working okay i was quite hoping that the glass would clear all the way along but it's cleared directly in front of the um the afterburner but the two sides i was hoping to get the impression of the flames disappearing down the sides but the glass is um hasn't cleared there it's smoking up there so i'm not sure what i'm going to do about that so i can actually see the secondary air feeding the flame, you can see um, it's nothing dramatic or spectacular, so I don't really know if how well it's working, to be honest with you. Um, I'll have to do some further tests, see if I make some comparisons.